Uh, seriously, this is what happened. This is the whole beginning. 1960, I was born in Chestnut Hill Hospital. But I didn't live in Chestnut Hill. I lived in Mount Airy. So, that's the only hospital that was close at the time. So, that's where I was born. Uh, it was a nice neighborhood in the middle of the road. We grew up middle class. You know, everybody had three, four kids, four boys. My poor mom, I was the best one. My mom loved me the best because I was the pet kind of thing. But I was more interesting than most of the brothers. But they're okay. But I'm not. that's not the point. What I'm saying is, I grew up there and you know, had a good life. And I think I was around five, six. Uh, I was in the neighbor's house. My brother, they were playing, they were playing, and uh, I seen something laying on the floor, looked like a piece of gum, so I ate it. And uh, I'm looking at it, and I see a skull and crossbones on the little thing with the cardboard, looked like bazooka gum to me. Bazooka, remember the bazooka? Yeah, unless you're old, you don't know. But they had, uh, I bit a chunk out of it, and I told my brother, and he said, what, what are you talking about? And his friend said, you didn't eat that. Because if you would have ate that, you'd die right away. It's poison. It's rat poison. I said, so you're telling me I just ate rat poison? He said, that's rat poison. You, can't, you didn't eat that. So I believed him. I didn't eat it. Guess I'm looking at it, and I see the chunk where I bit it, and I picked it up, and I'm looking at it, and I see the poison. And I said, I ate this. And they're like, no, you didn't. And I said, all right, I put it down. No, I didn't. No, I didn't eat it. Uh, I get home, and I said, Mom. She says, what's the matter with you? I said, I think I ate rat poison. You ate rat poison? Frankie, come here. She gets Frankie. What are you talking about? You ate rat poison. I don't know. Mommy said he ate rat poison. I didn't believe him. He's, well, I'm playing the Monopoly or whatever the hell he was playing. Jimmy Benzel. Frank. Frank, he's getting hard. My mom's going to kill him. My brother for not, you know, he let, him eat, he let me eat the poison. I, he took me over there and I ate poison. He's supposed to be watching me. So I got Dane Bramage from that, and uh, my mom stuck her finger down my throat all the way, bang, out of the chest, and I hit the hospital on Temple Road. I grew, across the, grew up across the street from Temple Stadium, where I see Jimi Hendrix, 1969, Steve Miller, everybody across the street. I used to get into all the Temple games. I would sneak under the fence. It was a hole about this big. I was little. I'd get in. We go to all the games and run around Temple Temple University, the whole stadium. Cheltenham Avenue, it's where we practice in a lot. Temple Stadium. I went to Catholic school, St. Raymond's. Vernon Road Gang, we were, they were tough guys. I mean, I was only nine at the time, growing up. I was allowed to pile rocks and stones and sticks, and there was gangs. You know, it was like the racial tensions were going on. It was the 60s. Thank God Frank Rizzo lived around the corner. Because I would run to his house if I could. If I seen somebody that looked like they were my friend, I ran to Frank Rizzo.